Hey, this is Gordy, and uh, this is going to be a Let's Play of Crusader Kings 2. Now, this is something in the nature of an experiment, you see, because I've never done a Let's Play before, but uh, I like making stuff, and lately I've been playing so much of this game that I haven't been making anything, so why don't I just go ahead and squeeze those th two things together, start making stuff, and hey, maybe I'll like it, maybe you'll like it. We'll see. But anyways, Crusader Kings 2. What the hell is that? Uh, Crusader Kings 2 is a grand strategy game where you take control of a leader from about the 800s till about the 1400s, and your goal is basically to take over Europe. Well, it doesn't have to be your goal, but that's the uh, that's the goal a lot of people are going to fall into. In any case, um, if you're familiar with CK2, it looks a little different than usual. It's because I use a map mod called uh, In Heaven Cartog Cartographic Map Mod, and I just think it makes it look a little prettier. I used to use a couple other mods. Um, one is very low impact, just anime portraits, because I think it looks silly. And then uh, another one I do is uh, it's a little bit cheaty, and it's called No Seduction Focus for AI. And I'll I'll get into why I do that once I explain some um, some more of the game mechanics. Cause if you if you've never seen this game before, it's pretty complicated. Anyways, let's get started. So we're going to start in 769, because we're just going to do this the way that I did it the first time I ever played. And, um, yeah, so you can see, you can see we can move around the map here a little bit. There's a bunch of stuff to do, um, but I figure, why not start with the basics, you know? Most everybody who, who comes into this game immediately zooms in on this island, and they go, well, I could play as an Irish count, an Irish single county dude, um, and it's actually a good idea. Um, they call it Newbie Island for a reason. I, I don't know why, but I was just drawn to it, and I think a lot of players are drawn to it when they first play this game. So, let's do that. Um, we're going to play as the Chief of Sildara, and the reason why we're going to do that, it's the one right in the middle here, is because we're going to spend a lot of time in the early game raiding our neighbors for money, and um, Sildara has the most neighbors on the island. It's in the middle of everybody. So, we're going to play as that guy. Um, but we're not going to play as him. Why would we want to play as the guy that the, uh, that the game made up for us? Let's, let's go into the ruler designer. Um, I don't really care what he looks like, but let's make him pretty. Make him nice and be shonen. There we go. He looks pretty good. Um, let's make him... There we go, that's pretty rad. And maybe some... Uh, make his eyes... Yeah, there we go. I think all the ladies are going to love him. Um, who gives a shit? Um, and no, his name isn't going to be Talon. Let's call him Gordy. How it's there. And we're going to spend a little time in this screen, so... Um, this here is his education trait. Right now it's Amateurish Plotter, which is an intrigue education, and it's the worst level. Um, for our first character, especially, I think it's going to be very important to do a uh, military uh, education. And we'll go with Skilled Tactician, um, because we can upgrade that later to Brilliant Strategist and save ourselves five points. Each point will raise his age by a year. Then we're going to add some traits. And we're going to add a bunch of bad traits. Um, because hopefully we can get them to go away. So stressed, we can that, that'll go away based on events maybe. Um, so we can take it and it, see it lowered our age back to 16. Um, uh, depressed, no. Depressed is harder to get rid of. Lunatic, no. Possessed could be fun just because of some event change related to it. But we won't do it. Uh, great pox, leper, no, wounded. Yes, wounded. Not infirm, not incapable. Um, you get these, you're basically just asking to die. Uh, drunkard, nah. Crusader, the Crusades haven't started in 769, so wouldn't make much sense. Legitimized bastard, I don't, well, there's no dynasty, so it doesn't matter. Kinslayer, no dynasty. If you're a kinslayer, your, your, your kin don't like you, so... But since this is the first person in the line, doesn't matter. Uh, homosexual, no, we're pretty concerned about having kids at the start of the game. 
I don't want any club-footed, hairlip, hunchback, lisp, stutter. I don't want any of those because we could pass them down to our kids. Um, and the goal here is to make our kids better than us, just kind of like in real life. Attractive is too expensive, but but that would be able to be passed down to our kids too. Uh, ugly, no. Dwarf, no. Genius, you can see. It gives you plus five to everything. And uh, personal combat sp skill, but it's 30 points. Is that worth it? Um, if you add a point here, it adds a year. I can't do it from this screen. Oh, yes, I can. I'm just... Okay. So... Okay, so it costs... A, if, I, if I add this, it would make me 46. Um, but... Uh, See, it adds points to all of these stats. The thing is, I don't actually need... And I'm not I'm not terribly concerned about our, our stats other than Marshall, because we're not going to have any vassals, which is what you need dis diplomacy for. Um, we're, we want a little bit of stewardship, but we don't need that much. There's not going to be a lot of people in our court, so intrigue isn't that important. And we're not a duke, which means that we won't generate any technology points of our own, so that's not important either. So, it's it's too expensive for what it is. I think it, I think it might actually be even out, but I, I want to focus my points into Marshall. So uh, quick is the same thing, just not as good. Slow is the opposite thing to quick, and we definitely don't want slow because we can pass it to our kids. Imbecile is the opposite of genius. Uh, inbred we don't want. Strong it's the same problem as genius. It's great, even though you get less out of it and it costs more. I don't really understand that. Uh, weak we don't want. Celibate we definitely don't want because that would just make us lose the game. Hedonist. That might be good. Um, I think we'll have enough fertility. Um, since, since we're playing an Irish count, um, at the beginning of the game we're going to be tribal, so we're going to be able to have concubines. We should be able to have plenty of kids. Um, lustful, yes, definitely. Gluttonous is okay. We can do that. We can get. We can. We can. We're okay with that. Um, no, we don't want to pay for that. We definitely don't want to. Nah. Uh, Roth, we definitely want because it increases our marshal by three. Um, we'll definitely get proud based on events later. Uh, deceitful is totally okay. You get points and you lose years. Craven, no. Brave, hopefully we can pick that up by going into battle. Shy, no. Gregarious, no. Ambitious, we want, but we can I just don't want to pay for it. Um, we'll make ourselves cynical. That's all right. Our kids can be zealous. We'll be cynical. Um, cruel is. I I like cruel. Because uh, because of the morale damage, that's a combat skill. So it increases the morale damage you cause to enemy troops. You lose a diplomacy, gain an intrigue. Intrigue is on the level right now more important than diplomacy to us. Uh, it makes your vassals dislike you a little bit, but like I said, we're not going to have a lot of vassals, so that's okay. Um, and we'll pick up a lifestyle trait somewhere along the line. So now you can see we're 16, but we have a lot of points to play with. So... Um, I'm going to bump stewardship up to 10. And then I'm just going to crank the rest into Marshall. We'll probably be the strongest Marshall character in the entire world. Um, but it'll just make our levy huge at the beginning of the game compared to our neighbors. Okay. So in order to be 16, we can have a six, uh, 44 Marshall, which will actually go up to 45 when we stop being wounded. And... Um, if we pick up some good traits, we can we can also uh, it'll also increase even further. So I think that's enough of making the character. Let's finish and let's play. Yeah. So I think a lot of people end up playing on this island, and it really like especially when they first start playing, and it's a good idea because you're safe, relatively speaking. Um, Everyone around here is about the same strength, and everyone around here, like, they're all Catholic, so they can't just attack you out of nowhere. 
um, in order to in order to attack somebody, you either either be of a different religion than them or have a claim on their province. And I'll show you how to fabricate a claim in a little bit here. So what's the first thing we should do? Let's pick a character focus. I'm gonna pick war, and I know I'm really stacking the marshal here. But the thing about the war focus is you end up there's events that come from it that raise your marshal even higher, and then also you can um, you can. Uh, increase your learning stat from skilled tactician to brilliant strategist which would raise the martial skill even further um, uh, we're going to choose an ambition which is going to be to get married because we need to start having kids um, I'll check in the marriage finder first but I have a feeling it's not they're not going to have anything I want so now I'm going to be looking for some congenital traits let's try genius none available let's try strong no attractive no okay so the the characters that this pulls up will for the more or less not hit your prestige in a negative way when if you marry them um, so that's why it suggests them and they might also have useful alliances or titles that you can inherit but um, I think it's super important to uh, to start getting good traits into our kids as soon as we can so I'm going to search the entire world for women who are not married they can be a ruler uh, my religion group any culture um, and then yeah that's all fine and I'm gonna look for genius okay so we have three geniuses um, this one is Armenian it's probably too far away let's see yep um, this one is Greek it's also too far away and I would go after this one, but she's homosexual, she's gay, and the only problem with that is that uh, it, ra it lowers her fertility by 15%, and I'm looking to have a lot of kids, so... Genius? Maybe not. Let's try strong. Okay, so there's three strong women in the entire world. Um, there's one in Cornwalls, which I know we can talk to. Um, she's strong, she's an architect, temperate, content, wrath, and proud. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, 16 stewardship, which is what we want. We want our wife to make up for our deficiencies, um, even though our stewardship isn't that bad. So let's, ooh, I, um, all right, let's uh, arrange a marriage with her, and you get married to me. They'll do it. I'll lose 100 prestige, but that's okay. And then maybe can I take you? As no, they won't let me take that one as a concubine. No, okay. Let's also try. Uh, look for attractive um, no okay and then let's take a couple of concubines one from one will be in our court if there's just always a woman in your court in case you can't find somebody to get married to um, she's an intriguing woman okay and then let's see if these guys have concubines for us Okay, and you always want to just have three concubines. Um, well, at least in this position, you want to have three concubines. Because right now, if the, if I if my character died, the game would end. So I'm looking to have kids, and um, yeah, I just want to I just want to have as many kids as I can. And it also gives you a prestige bonus to have concubines. If I, if I hover over prestige here, you can see nubile concubines x1 plus 0.2 um, prestige a month, so it'd be good to have. Okay, so let's uh, appoint our council. Okay, we have a, let's get a chancellor, our marshal, our steward, and our spy master. Now these are your basically the people that uh, work for you. They're, they're your agents. Um, the chancellor, what he can do is he can improve relations with another lord, fabricate claims, or sow dissent, which is the opposite of improve relations. It just sows dissent between him and his, uh, between a lord and his liege. Um, we're gonna have him fabricate claims, and this is actually a pretty good chancellor. So he has a 15% chance a year of fabricating a claim. We're gonna fabricate on Dublin. Because if we get Dublin, we can form the duchy of these two counties. And once we do that, we can uh, we can really get moving as far as as far as becoming. Because my goal here 
with this character is become the king of Ireland if I can. And once I form a duchy, it'll become a lot faster. Um, the first claim might take quite a while to get. Um, then we have our marshal, who's basically, you know, the, the lead warrior we have. Um, he can suppress revolts, train troops, and since we're, um, since we're tribal, um, he can also organize a raid. Now, a problem with uh, the, the troops that come from organized raid is if you can't declare war, then they, uh, they go away and they might take money and prestige. So I'm just going to have him train troops. Um, again, since we're tribal, we can't, uh, we can't collect taxes, so I'm just going to have the steward oversee construction. Um, we'll have our spy master study technology in Constantinople, where the best technology is at the beginning of the game. And we'll have... Maybe I'll hit. Mm, no, I can't reach anybody important. So I'll just uh, improve religious re relations with the Pope. And we just. It's always good to have the Pope like you. Let's check out our laws. Okay, that's all fine. Um, see, as a count, we don't generate tech points. Once we become a Duke, we will start to uh, make tech points. Our military, we have a maximum levy of 904. It'll take a few months to reinforce um, from 350 to 904, and we should be the strongest uh, person around, like, ju just because of our insane martial score. Um, I don't think any plots are going to be useful right now. Um, there are some decisions we can make as, as a tribe, such as to, um, if we have 500 prestige, we can just instantly spawn a 2,500-man regiment of troops. Uh, and it, that, that, that's sort of useful if you're in a situation where you can't, um, where you're losing a war, but you can't, uh, you can't spawn mercs because you don't have the money. Um, these two are for getting rid of the tribal government type. We can either become a merchant republic or a uh, feudal monarchy. Uh, we could found the Holy Roman Empire, but I think we're pretty far away from that. Um, our realm size right now is two, and we need to have a realm size of 220. So I don't, I don't, I don't think that's in the purview of this series per se. Our, our goal in this series, we're going to become the emperor of uh, Britannia. So that's basically all of this land. Um, and it, I don't know how many characters it'll take, but it'll, it'll, it'll take a little while. Um, these ones here, we can just get more courtiers. One with military education, uh, the, like a theologi theologians or uh, stewards. Um, we can get women in our court if we need more concubines. Uh, we can hold a feast and invite our vassals. Uh, we can hold a summer fair in the summer. We can borrow money from the Jews. We can uh, basically give money to the Pope to forgive sins. Or we can expel the Jews. Um, but we're not going to do any of this right now. Just giving you an overview of, of what we can do. We have no factions because we're basically the only person in our county. It's just us and the peasants and probably a, a bishop. And then... Okay. So, that's probably enough preamble, um, but uh, maybe I won't even hit, uh, hit start until the next video. So, next time then.